Okay, good morning, and we should be live. Uh, I have Craig Zablo live in the studio with me this morning. morning. So I need to check if our sound is working properly. So if you can hear me, Craig? Yes. Okay, say good morning. Good morning, everybody. All right, so if you can hear myself and Craig, could you please, in the chat room, just type yes, or, you know, can hear fine. Um, Craig can actually type into the chat room, so if we're not going to get a response, he can uh, put a feeler out there. Ron says, good morning, sounds good, a little distant on Craig. Yeah, Craig's a little bit of far, far away from the microphone, Ron. We could not get our cans working. <laughs> That's the technical word they call them in the biz. There you go. Uh, we were getting echo and feedback, and for some reason, Craig couldn't hear me. Um, so we're just using the microphone on my webcam, which is right above me. So you're probably going to hear my voice a lot stronger unless Craig comes over or turns this way when he speaks, which won't be all the time, but when he's making an announcement or asking a question, It'd probably be easier for him to look my way and ask it. Big, e <clears throat> Big Easy says, good morning. Good and morning. Yes. All <laughs> right. He can hear us. Good, good deal. And uh, appreciate everybody that I found out that I guess I could somehow find how to turn on comments during a live stream, but... Uh, because I did check some out yesterday, and some people had it so that comments were allowed. And then there was other ones where I saw what you all did. It was just the chat, the stream, and just like a blank white space uh, underneath the video window. So there was no place to put a comment. But they do. the comments do populate um, shortly after the stream um, goes off and then it takes a, oh, about 30 seconds, maybe a minute to reset itself and allow for comments. So I thank everybody uh, who came back and put a comment, a lot of good choices out there. So good luck to everybody. And we'll get to that in a little bit. Craig will be fielding questions while I work on this death stroke uh, for Don. I want to remind everyone, too, that if you like what uh, John and I are doing and what John's doing when I'm not here, go ahead and hit the uh, thumbs up, tab below, or button below. Also, there's a share button if you would like to share this with your friends. And uh, happy Black Friday still alone day, Mr. Beatty. Well, yes. Uh, we're going to start that at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is standard time now, right? That is. I think I pretty much just put Eastern time because... They'll figure it out. Well, that's what I figure. <laughs> All right. So I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. Ate plenty of food. Digested well and got leftovers for the weekend. So we had a great Thanksgiving at the Zablo household. I have to admit it was one of those Thanksgivings where nobody argued big day. Hmm. Curious. <laughs> People are getting older. Although that tends to lead to more arguments, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Ron says that uh, I asked if the sound's good now, and he said it is coming in better on me because I'm taking your advice and turning that way when I talk. Right. So. Yeah, I got to figure this sound thing out because, uh, you know, if Craig comes down here, Um, we're going to have to 
get ourselves mic'd up. It's nice being in studio with you. <clears throat> big easy wig, uh, Big J said, I'm on my way to the hospital. My uncle's being airlifted from the nursing home, so he'll be in and out. All right, Big. Well, hope your uncle uh, uh, gets the needed care and hope everything turns out good there. Yeah. And this is also one of the reasons I kind of put the stipulation on you didn't need to be present to win a free drawing today because I knew some people would be traveling, uh, but they may have time or they, you know, might have time to drop in and leave a comment, leave their character and you know, if they're traveling back home today or if they're still out of town or something, they might not be able to tune in. So just trying to level the playing field. You know, as I was driving over this morning to uh, the beautiful Beatty Studios in downtown Daytona Beach, uh, I was surprised that the traffic wasn't as heavy as I thought it would be for a Black Friday. Well, you know, uh, I think now that Black Friday is pretty much uh, on Thanksgiving Day, yeah, I think that really affects how people are getting out and doing things or not going out and doing things. <laughs> well, because, you know, yeah. the Black Friday sales are available online, too. Did you ever do the whole Black Friday thing, get up early and go out into it? I never did. I did one year. <laughs> <laughs> now my wife does it every year but i i did one year because i wanted to go to best buy and buy a ton of dvds and by the time i picked them all out got in the line waited to get and pay my time is worth as much as i say so easily I've been better off yep. just go buy it well and most stores now do have an online presence and they honor their sales so you can get the same deal uh online as you can having to go to the store well yeah and it seems like everybody has a black friday deal yep it sure does a little death stroke action coming up now, see, Craig gets to watch two versions. He gets to see uh, the actual live, like he would be sitting on my shoulder watching over. But he also gets to see the delay version. And I would imagine it's, what, a 15-second delay at least? You know, that's something I should figure out looking at this. But, yeah, it is a little bit of a delay. And... When I've done it, when I've watched um, myself work and then look at the delayed version, it really can throw me off. <laughs> it's like I keep waiting for a line to appear and I'm like, come on, come on. And uh, eventually it does. But man, it's it's it takes a while. You know what, JB? It looks like maybe it's a five or six second delay. That's all? That's that's what it looks like. Does I it, thought it was more than that, too. It really seems like a long time. Very interesting. Well, I got to say, we had a nice turnout uh, for the stream yesterday morning. Um, I was actually surprised so many people were able to make it on Turkey Day. Uh, and I assume, though, that some people were either, you know, it was early enough to where they weren't, you know, at their destination if they were traveling. Maybe today uh, a little less turnout, only for the fact that maybe people are at relatives house or they have relatives over uh and they will need to spend time with them as you can tell craig and i don't have that problem 
<laughs> well, you're wrong, Big J. I'm spending time with my friends. Well, I, I said relatives, though. Yeah, no, they're out. They're doing the Black Friday thing. Ron said that he came off his diet yesterday and loved the carbs. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's and I was gonna. I will mention that Ron that. Um, If that's the first time you've come off your diet um, since you started and you you loaded up on those uh, simple carbohydrates, let me ask you, did it put you in that carbohydrate coma uh, that it did me when I ate a bunch of uh, nacho chips and salsa for the first time? Did you get did you get a good 10 hours sleep, Ron? I guess is where I'm going with this. I have to say, I did the same thing. I, I uh, yeah, I think everyone did. You know, I, I was chowing down yesterday, but I kept track of the points. <laughs> I don't do points. Uh, Ron said, "Thank you for." Uh, I'm sorry, Big Easy said, "Thank you for the prayers, to everyone." You're welcome, Big Easy. Ron said, "No, he cheats every couple weeks or so, and he felt super energized." Okay. So there you go. Everyone's got a different method. And as long as it works, it's all good. Well, I find when you cheat, the best thing to do is just not fret over it and go back to yeah. what you were doing. Because if, you, uh, if you dwell too much on it, or if you have guilt about it, you're probably going to sabotage. sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably going to sabotage your whole eating plan and you're going to feel guilty. You're going to feel bad. So if you have a cheat day, uh, if you fall off, just, you know, don't let that deter you. Especially if you're if you're seeing progress. That means you're doing something right. Ron says, Ron says he follows up the uh, cheat meal with a 16-hour fast. There you go. Now, I will tell you a little bit of advice that I learned. When you know you're going to cheat, like Thanksgiving, maybe Christmas coming up, and you're going to eat those carbs, you're going to eat those bad carbs, the potatoes, the stuffing, the uh, the bread, all that stuff. The trick, the real trick to keep your insulin, and Ron, you might know this already, but I'll just drop a little knowledge that I got from listening to the, uh, the people that I follow on, on the diet plan I'm, I'm working, is eat the protein first because it affects the way the simple carbohydrates are digested. It it lessens the insulin spike. Tip for the day. Tip for the day. I would imagine that everybody tuning in today probably knows about your plan for the day, but you're gonna you're doing this drawing, and then at one o'clock you're doing the Stallone drawing. Does that finish your day then, John? No. Uh, the reason I had people go to the stream yesterday and put their favorite character is I was trying to come up with a, uh, an extra special something Friday, uh, a way to give back to my audience and subscribers and people that uh, took the time to show up yesterday, watch the stream, was, uh, and I don't know what time, I still don't know what time, sometime <laughs> today. Uh, we're going to take those, all those, uh, all those characters that were submitted, Craig's going to put them in a uh, online tumbler and pick a winner. And yeah, well and the winner gets? And the winner gets a free drawing like I'm working on now. A 6x8 inked drawing. 
of the character that they um, suggested in my comments section on the live stream uh, yesterday. And we're probably going to get that going at around 730. So I'll let you keep uh, time on that. All right. Sounds like a good plan. We're at 717, so we got a little more time. Ron, Ron asked the question, so you don't start with dessert? <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I think that's going to spike the insulin like very fast. He said bummer. Yeah. But you know what? You can start with that big old turkey leg <laughs> and eat the whole thing. I'll tell you, yesterday's Thanksgiving dinner was the best in years. And, and last night for dinner, I had... Uh, a whole pumpkin pie? No, no, no. Apple. I, I, you know what? I stayed away from the from the pies. I had a little, you know, little piece of pecan, just a small piece, and just a taste of key lime. But um, what tasted so good later on was a turkey sandwich, just a plain turkey sandwich. Dry? No, I had a little, a, 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 a little mayo on it. But it was, How many points was that mayo? Uh, more than the turkey <laughs> and the bread. <laughs> But it was good. Stephen just dropped in and said, good morning. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Stephen. Happy day after. This is going to become the new tradition on Thanksgiving uh, Day, I guess. If you continue your drawings, uh, watch the drawing, then watch the parade. They had trouble with the balloons yesterday. Yeah. The wind. Well, you know, I, I know that the uh, Northeast is having quite a cold uh, weekend, or at least the last time I heard, they were supposed to have the coldest uh, since sometime in the 90s, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was very cold. Ron said thick mayo and pepper on that turkey sandwich. Thick what? Thick mayo and pepper. Hmm. I used to put salt on mine, but I avoided the salt this time. Got to, got to watch the salt intake. <laughs> Actually, you can have pink Himalayan sea salt. Yeah. And sea salt. Well, you now you can't Go put. Crazy. Yeah, you can't put. You know, a cup on it. <laughs> a cup of salt. But from what I understand, you know, the regular table salt, it's got one mineral, iodine. They take everything else out of that salt when they, whatever they do, bleach it, you know, turn it white, uh, uh, manufacture it, and they take all the other minerals out of it, just so there's iodine in it, which we do need. But if they leave it alone, the sea salt does not have the same effect on your blood pressure from my understanding, I'm not a doctor. This is but just. You play one on TV. But no, I don't even play one on TV. So this is just something that I've learned, and it makes total sense if you use the pink Himalayan sea salt or regular sea salt. But the pink Himalayan, I think, is actually better. It will not have an effect on your blood pressure. I did not see you learn something new. Everybody. Yeah. Well, you know, here's the thing. You get a little blood pressure going, what's the first thing the doctor tells you besides lose weight? Cut down on the salt. Right. Now, I get that to a degree. Because when you're going out to eat, if you're continuing to eat fast food, uh, you can't control the sodium that's put in that food. So, I understand that. But what they don't tell you, and I... I mentioned this to Ron that it kind of frustrated me uh, is they make it sound like you can't have any salt and your body needs salt. Yeah. Your body needs uh, electrolytes and sodium to maintain uh, its pH balance. Well, I, I, this sounds like a scientific uh, show that we've went well, into we now. You never know where we may go. That's true. A lot of days it goes to the foolishness. But uh, my doctor said as long as you keep your salt intake to 2,000 milligrams or less a day, you're okay. So, there you go. 
Dropping knowledge bombs. <laughs> but as we said, we're not doctors. So don't... <laughs> yes, and we're we're not the extremely fit guys that you would like to uh, model yourself after. Yeah. <laughs> do as we say, not as we do, kind of thing. Well, no, it's just what it's just learning. You know, it's like I said when I when I found that out about the sea salt, I'm like, why wasn't I told that when I was 19? made no sense to me um my doctor was a very educated man i know that for a fact but like i said i think they consider you know that most of the time you're probably not going to be cooking your own food but they need to qualify that i am ho in, in my, my humble opinion. <laughs> well, I, I, uh, I saw Creed this past week. Uh, Creed 2. Oh, I didn't know it was out. Yeah, I came out. I went to the first showing uh, Tuesday night. I thought you were waiting to see that with Jared. No, no. I think Jared... Uh, Is he uh, seeing that on the boat? He's going to... I don't know. But I know he wants to see it. And it was good. It was very good. You know, you know what Jared told me he did? What did he do? On the cruise ships. He jumps overboard with a with a life raft, right? He jumps off the cruise ship. Jumps off the cruise with a life, with raft, a life raft with the rope. With a preserver or a life raft? Uh, the preserver, preserver, like like the lifesaver looking thing. Okay. All right. And he just kind of, you know, his wife watches him, and he <laughs> just floats behind the boat. At sea. Yeah, you know, when they're just cruising at a nice, kind of like Ronnie. Yeah, popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, he, he did do that. He would jump off the boat. I know. He that's, was in Navy. that's why I was telling you that story. Uh, now, does, does, uh, does he tie a line to himself? Does, does I, I, I don't. He really doesn't. I'm just... You never know with that guy. Well, that's true. That is true. Oh, my goodness. Now, I just thought it'd be funny to picture Jared like. I could see Jared say something like that. Like floating behind a floating boat. Floating behind a cruise ship. Enjoying the sunshine. Like, yeah, that's the best part, man. Uh, does he wear his derby when he does that? Uh, that's a trademark, you know. Everybody needs a trademark. I don't know if he wears his derby or not. Now, that's a good question we're going to have to ask him. And we will. I would imagine he does. Yeah. He probably has a all-weather derby that he uses. <laughs> Wouldn't you think? I did not know they invented those, but if they didn't, they oh, well, should. I think Jared probably invented it. There you go. And all you know. Well, I'll tell you this, Mr. Bay. Yes. That uh, sketch you're working on now is coming along very nicely. Well, thank you. This is a request, uh, a purchased request from Don, um, who got the Green Goblin. Yeah. So, I think it's pretty cool the the wide variety of sketches you get. I know you get the traditional ones, the ones you're known for, but also I like it when when fans go for something that's a little out of the the, the, the norm. Yeah, I I don't like them to go too far out of the norm. <laughs> stay in the lanes. Kinda stay in the wheelhouse of John Beatty. Yeah. Which. I don't know. I like to think I have a a range that's fairly broad, but um, you know. You know when you were inking that uh, Deathstroke yesterday, right? Deathstroke. No, I'm doing Deathstroke now, sir. Oh, what was the one? Deadpool. We Deadpool. Were doing Deadpool yesterday. I got you, Boy, I, I just thought I got Deadpool yesterday and Deathstroke today. It's uh, I didn't make that connection until just now when you uh, did your faux pas. But, but I was watching you ink some of those fine lines yes. with the brush, and I was just like, that man has always been so good with the brush. Well, I I like the brush. You know, the brush. <laughs> <laughs> Dick the brush. I knew that's what you were this nickname was the brush. Or so we... We've been told. You, you can take on that nickname now. It could be passed on down to you. Oh, I don't think I I could carry that mantle. 
I don't have the sideburns. No. Never did have the sideburns, but you did have the rock ability. Now, you know the uh, the classic story that Dick told us about Neil, uh, Neil Adams and him going to a client that didn't pay and Dick just happened to be with him. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Would you like to reflect well, that story to the to the to the audience well you'll correct me if i mess it up yes i will all right so the story was that uh, neil adams uh had taken on a job and the guy was late in paying him quite late quite late and after repeated efforts neil decided to make a visit to the man's office to get the payment and dick giordano who worked in continuity studios with uh, neil uh was they were just out and Neil just I think Neil just decided hey, hey there, yeah let's you know, go by let's you know and Dick said I'll go with you and Dick looked like in the pictures that we saw at the time period kind of a mafioso kind of guy had the feathered back hair yeah big and, sideburns and, and the suit looked kind of you know yeah pinstripe suit yeah and so they go in and uh, Dick's just standing, standing there standing there being no being quiet and neil says that he's there for the payment and the guy kind of looks at neil looks at giordano and gets the payment and writes out the check <laughs> wrote the check on the spot thought that neil had brought in uh some heavies you know the story i always liked that uh dick told was the one about when he was working uh was it for valiant you're doing a cover and uh had drawn a female character and shooter said that her breasts need to be bigger i i think you told this story and i think you told it wrong well let me tell it again and then you can correct me well no i i mean i'm not sure you told it wrong i think i think you were telling somebody that and they told you no it wasn't dick who did it dick told the story i do know that okay but uh anyway so uh the the cover was sent back to him and it said uh bigger bre or make her breast bigger so dick was like okay well this character doesn't really have huge breasts but i'll make them bigger so he did he sent it in and the, the cover was sent back to him again with just a, a sticky note that said more breasts <laughs> and so dick said he drew a third breast on the character and sent it back and uh he never got any more corrections from him that that is classic <laughs> that is classic Big Easy says more lines is a lifesaver behind a cruise boat. I'd pay forty dollars <laughs> to see that. <laughs> and it was hashtag more lines. <laughs> yeah, you gotta ha gotta get that hashtag whenever you mention Jared. Hashtag more lines. Now that's funny. Now I know for a fact. Yes, sir. Because I can read you fairly well after all these decades. Yes, sir. Um. When Jared was working on that King Kong drawing that night and and you were complimenting it and he kept wanting to fiddle with it, I could tell you yourself, Mr. Zablo, were going into a frantic panic of him yes. going too far with the drawing, the adding too much. Will take a drawing too far. And that's why you kept saying, Jared, I it's find the way it is you didn't want to come right out and tell him yeah you were trying to get him to say you know what it, it's fine and i even i thought it was fine yeah but i do know the feeling jared was having of you know this just needs something and how many times have you you know have i got in trouble by saying it just needs a little something else and then i do it and i'm like you know I wish I would have just left it, yeah. left it alone. Because now that little extra I thought it needed didn't. You know, that's the tough part when you're not an artist. Like I, I've seen people, people drawing you and other artists, and I think, oh man, you need to stop now. And then they do whatever they're going to do, and it looks better. Mm -hmm. But I've also seen where they taken it too far. Yeah. Or you know what I see more often than that is I'll see a pencil drawing. And I'll be like, that is going to be so cool. And then they do the inks 
and it loses something in the in, in the inking. Well, thank Jeff, you. Uh, Jeff Young says, good morning, John. Good morning, Jeff. How are you today? And, and Mr. Beatty, it is now 7.30. All right. Uh, would you like to announce what we're going to do now at 7.30? To, to, it, it's the time. All right. So what we're going to do is John announced during yesterday's live drawing that anyone that had been watching um, and had put their comments in at the end when the broadcast was finished, of the one character that they would want as a free drawing that John would pencil and ink today, and he would mail it for free. Anyone that um, did that, their name would be put in the in the uh, random name. In the Tilly. Tilly. To, 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 to pick the name. <laughs> now, see, now we're bringing in inside jokes that people true. don't know about Tilly. Uh, Tilly. Uh, and uh, so we're going to do the drawing. Uh, do, do the drawing for the drawing. <laughs> Drawing for the drawing, and that will uh, that will be decided uh, when. Uh, We've got a uh, random name picker here. Yes, but the uh, the drawing will be done later today uh, to be determined uh, by my schedule. And if you are if you are a subscriber and you have notifications, the little bell, uh, you will know when that live stream. Uh, is live. All right. So do you want me to call out the names and the characters? Yeah, you can go through everything just so we have it correct. All right. So here we go. We got Big Easy asked for a flash. Yes. Shannon Mashburn asked for the Riddler. Yes. I like that thought, the Riddler. There were a lot of good suggestions, yeah. I thought. Uh, Taryn asked for a Thor. Yep. And we've got uh, Stephen asked for, for a Red Skull. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, I love your Red Skull. Thank you. That didn't sound right. But no, it didn't. But it's true. Uh, Dr. Kaz asked for your Wolverine. Yep. I love your Wolverine. Brian O'Connor asked for your Age Sapien. I, I'd like to see you draw Age Sapien. Okay. Uh, Courtney asked for She-Ra. Yep. Okay. Um, Don R asked for Spider-Man. Yep. And we got Ron W. asking for Beta, Beta Ray Bill. Good choice. Okay. And then David asked for the Hulk. Now, is David's last name Banner? <laughs> <laughs> it is not. David asked for a Hulk. So, with that said, you tell me when you want me to do the, the, when, the drawing. When I want you to roll it. When you want me to roll it. So they're all loaded in. Uh, Jeff Young just said, morning, John. Good, thanks. Casey Jones, can I enter pick me? But he's coming in now. And uh, Jeff, did you... Put it in the comments yesterday. If not, I'm gonna have to say no at this point. Yeah, there'll be others, but no, his was not in for you. Oh well, um, no, that wouldn't be fair to the people that. Uh, hope, hopefully, you understand. It wouldn't be fair to the people that uh, played by the rules. He says, "Ah, oh, dang, nope, sorry." But you know, Jeff, I gotta tell you, stick around, be part of this community. John does this quite regularly. More than any other artist I know of, actually. And I'm not just saying that. <laughs> so, did you want me to do the random name picker, Mr. Beatty? Uh, let me see. What time we got here? It is 7.35. You may as well. Uh, I wish we had a few sound effects, because I would do a drum roll. Well, sir, you, you might just hear something. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be your stomach. Oh, okay. Here we I, go. I could do a... Hold on a second. And the wheel is spinning. I can see it. Can you see it? I can see it. But I can't read it. And the winner is Ron W. with Beta Ray Bill. All right. So congratulations, Ron. Later today, Mr. Beatty will be drawing a Beta Ray Bill. Um, and I got to tell you. You know, if Ron would like to drive down from Ocala. <laughs> <laughs> And be, and, be, and be present while his drawing's being done. He's more than welcome to, to do that. Congratulations, well, congratulations, Ron. Ron. Ron said sweet. Mike Cross said why the... Uh, I don't know if this is kid-friendly. Why the H in his Zablo there? Is this Black Stone Friday? <laughs> yes, it is. Not but, not, but not officially until 1 p.m.
Now, <clears throat> for those of you who entered, and Jeff, if you are still in the room, along with Mr. Mike Cross, I had told Craig this morning, because I, I do stuff like this, I think crazy. <laughs> well, I just think. Um, if anybody that did not win the free drawing, and there was only one winner, which was Ron. But uh, you're not eliminating Ron if he wants to participate. Not no, that he would. I mean, no. he already got a free drawing. Um, Jeff Young said, yes, I'm here. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Uh, I kind of had a, 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 I was going to do Cosmic Bad Guys next week, but if I get enough, if I get enough uh, people that want to reserve a spot for next week, what I'm going to do is John Beatty's Black Friday special is going to be 20% off my normal rate of $50 for one of these six by eight um, drawings that I've been doing. So, so $40? $40 oh. postage paid no matter where you are in the world. Um, and, and so they would, for $40, they get a head sketch of their choice. Right. Done in pencil and ink by you. Yes. And the mailing is free. Yes. Now that is a that is a Black Friday deal. So if anybody, um, and I will put that out on my social media, as you know, for people that aren't in the room, uh, I will honor that price. Um, well, I know more probably until tomorrow. What do you think, Craig? You know, um, what way? Uh, most places are doing it through the weekend. Okay. And uh, so, in well, see, you know, there's always Cyber Monday, so I could roll it into Cyber Monday. That's a great deal. I I, I know there are some people that probably aren't here that want to jump on that. Well, that's that's why I at least want to offer it, you know, for people that watch the replay. Yeah. And for me to put it on. Um, on my social media outlet so that if people uh you know aren't aware of it they can take advantage of the offer that that is a really really good deal so um if we have any takers uh hey i gotta tell you uh that's a great deal yeah we just had a new guest come in okay and uh, and he, he says what is up home dudes <laughs> And he is Ray Dog 89 2000. Billy Ray Merriman is joining the show. Billy Ray. Oh, I love me some Billy Ray. Welcome again, sir. And uh, we just had uh, Joe, Joel Carroll uh, tweet about you that he saw you and that uh, we should get together and, and do a hangout. So I think Craig's going to try to set it up, set something up. Um, Jeff Young asks, have you ever drawn Howard the Duck before, John? Uh, yes, I have. I not to... not in a actual comic, but I have drawn a sketch. I wonder if he's thinking maybe... In fact, I actually did two Howards at one of the Daytona comic conventions. Is that right? For Cliff and then one for Dave. Cliff had me do his on pink, bright pink paper. <laughs> well, there you go. Ray Dog says sounds good to him. Billy Ray says sounds good to him. Good, good. We'll have to get us all together. And for those of you that don't know, you've known Billy Ray for how long, Mr. Baby? Mm. Since we were mere pups. <laughs> right? That's right. Billy Ray's in the Stallone Zone collection. Yes, he is. More than one. John Beatty's Black Friday runs through Cyber Monday. Hey, for those of you that have joined us, uh, 
watching now. We've got some more folks that have entered the room. If you like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up. And please don't hesitate to share this. Big John does this every day, Monday through Friday, almost without fail. And uh, he's been offering a lot of uh, incentives for folks that tune in. Free drawings, discounted drawings. And for those of you that like to watch the loan drawings, that's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I think that's really going to bring uh, the crowd out. I'll bring the, the, the guys to the front yard. So to speak. Uh, Don R says that's a cool deal. I have a feeling that you'll be drawing a Shazam out of that group. You think? I think I think Little John will jump on it. I still owe Little John. A, actually, I, I have that Superman drawing that I forgot to give you to take to him at Heroes Con. Oh, that's true. And I still owe him a diggity dog, doggity dig, whatever that, <laughs> for Patricia. I have not forgot those. Uh, you got a request that came in, Wig. Okay. And I call him Wig. It goes back to junior high. It goes back to, no, it goes not back that far. Yeah, because it was big time. Yeah, but it wasn't junior high. It was okay, right out of, right. no, out of, out of school when I started working. No, it actually started because it was Mr. Big Stuff, the song, and we started calling each other Big Stuff, and then it changed to Big Time. He's 60, people. His mind is going. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, Ray Dog, Billy Ray, says that he would request to have your hands. <laughs> <laughs> My lovely hands. Uh, Jeff Young says, John, what is the oddest commission you've ever done? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> And I know the truth on that one. Jeff, I, I, I can't really talk about that. Uh, well, I guess I actually could. You're going to say it's just a low? Well, you know, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, I thought that's where you'd go. No, I, I was going to... To the legitimate one? To the legitimate one. Well, not that Stallone's not a legitimate one. <laughs> But uh, it was not only myself, but it was a, a group of artists um, at a Gainesville, uh, Gainesville, Florida, where, home of the Gators, if that means anything to, I, I have no idea. Uh, some guy came around we were there used to be a Gainesville show in a holiday inn holiday uh, inn? It, and it was like catty corner from the entrance of the college and uh, they had it there for a few years and then I don't know it it just kind of ran its course I guess or yeah I, I don't know it was a good little show I enjoyed it um, met a lot of people there um, George Perez, I met there, yeah. and uh, anyway, in fact, it was George's drawing that I inked, which was part of the request. Somebody was going around getting commissions of Conan, the barbarian. Okay. Um, and he was asking the artist <laughs> if for a few dollars. For a fistful of dollars, <laughs> I'm I'm trying to work my way around this. I know you're trying to keep it. Uh, yeah, uh, subtle. Yeah. Uh, for a few dollars extra, could they beef up? Well, no. That see, that was the thing. This this is. Well, I guess the the main thing. See. <laughs> George would only beef up. Uh, he he was actually asking. I you know I I guess there's nothing wrong with it. It's been so many decades ago, and um, the guy was asking for nude drawings. Yes, nude, naked drawings, no loincloth, no fur cover, nothing like that, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, of Conan, and. Uh, if the artist was so inclined, could they please endow Conan? Um, proportionately. <laughs> not more than proportionately. I'm trying to. As I'm trying to ease my way around. Yeah, I think um, a picture. 
Yeah, like, I kid you not. Tree trunk size. Oh, my. Right? Oh, dear. Right, Craig? That's right. That's what the guy was asking for. And, you know, I mean, this is back when a sketch was 15, 20 bucks. If that. So he was... <laughs> he was he was sweetening the pot with another five to ten dollars uh for the artist to um enhance enhance conan's uh sword <laughs> as it would be um to the nether regions of Krom. <laughs> and uh that, that was your most unusual. Most, most people, well, it, it, I didn't draw it. That's what I'm getting to. Yeah, yeah. Um, most people were okay with it. Um, so they wound up taking the extra money and did their their best, so to speak. And uh, proud. yeah, and uh. That was that, you know, uh, back then you get a sketch for twenty, thirty dollars and hey, um, you know, that was, that was a good sketching money for the eighties. So he asked George Perez, would George do it? And George refused to, but the guy was still a fan of George. Uh, I was inking George on Justice League of America at that time. So this was around 82, 1982, maybe 83, 84. I'm trying to remember. I don't think it was that, that far in. I well, that's, like that's, yeah, I'm thinking it's 82, 83 at the latest. Um, so he still commissioned George to do a Conan, a loin, uh, loincloth Conan. Uh, in pencil so i really hadn't been paying attention to what was going on and um oh, got a little ink on my finger don't want to let me let this uh dry a little bit i put all that ink on there while i finish this story real quick and i'll be able to concentrate on on the logistics of it a bit more um <laughs> So he brought the pencil piece over to me. I had kind of got wind of what was going on. And he asked if he could pay me a little extra to beef up Conan's loincloth. <laughs> In other words, to protrude it a bit um, by rendering it in such a way that it massaged the area <laughs> in a certain way and he showed me some examples of what <laughs> he had been um looking for procur procuring <laughs> wow jared j you know i've got to interrupt the story we have breaking news what jared albrecht has just Text me and said we are we're about an hour away from you in the office. Joanna is thinking about breakfast at the cafe downstairs from you. Now, what Jared probably doesn't know is that cafe is shut today. <laughs> no, anybody that closes on yeah. Thursday, they usually don't open up on Friday. Yeah. Um, I'll text him back in a minute. But um, <clears throat> so he showed me a a few pieces that were finished and he let me know the other artists who were doing it and it seemed like everybody yeah had went ahead and accepted the challenge except <laughs> except for george yeah. george would not do a nude and he would do a conan though but mm, no nudity no nudity no enhancement so he came to me and and my youth and whatever um, discourse, I went ahead and accepted a, probably an extra $10 to just add a little rendering to the old uh, 
loincloth. Yeah. <laughs> to the loincloth and uh, make Conan look a little more uh, hefty. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jeff Young says, laughing out loud, that's too funny. My cross says junk inker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my cross says John's massive meat hands. You know what's funny, John? Uh, uh, uh -huh. little ink there. There you go. Years later, you were there, and I won't mention the artist's name, but I was getting, you know, I get Stallone sketches from different artists. And so I had asked this artist that was known for. Um, excellent, excellent drawings and anatomy. Anatomy, and uh, let me go ahead and get this ink off while you uh, get tell the story. Yeah, so no, I, I got yeah, him to come up and ask him for a um, a particular drawing of a character, and leaned over and told him, you know, he wanted him nude, and sort of like that same guy. And so I had asked him to draw the love, and so we're sitting there talking and. Uh, <laughs> You know, he was right next to you and I was hanging with you. So I was able to talk to him a lot. And he was like, hey, I've got the perfect idea for you. Um, here's what I'm going to do. And he was going to draw a new Stallone from Demolition Man. And I was like, no, no, no. I, that's not the kind of drawing I want. Mine's family friendly. Mine's just. But uh, so there are there are still artists that uh, get requests like that all the time. It was not that unusual. Remember the. um. The guy that always wanted uh, the superheroes in scuba gear. Yes, I never. Um... Let's see. Jared says, breaking news again. <laughs> we won't interrupt then. Tell Craig I said happy Black Stallone Friday. Tell now, if, we're, if you're going to be done in time, we could go to breakfast with them. Okay. I've already had breakfast, but I would go hang out for a little bit. Yeah. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but you were saying about the scuba. Yeah, I, I was never, um, never approached by him, uh, to do that. But, uh, I don't know why. <laughs> maybe, maybe he knew about the Conan incident. <laughs> no, know, that would have been George. Uh, Jared does the James Bond sketch theme collection. Yes. There is a guy out there named Cliff, uh, uh, that used to do cl superheroes on cliffs, and now he's got the three by three sketches, nine square inches uh, squares that he has done. So there are there there are a lot of theme sketch collections out there, which makes you feel better about your Stallone collection. It does. Mike Cross says, "When I got Bud rooted heroes, I requested for him family friendly." There's some artists you got to tell them. Well, Bud, Bud will do family friendly. Right, Mr. Cross? It's all right. I wonder if Mr. Cross is ever going to make it back to Heroes. Yes, not this year, but next. That would be awesome. And it'd be awesome if he came back this year, too. Are you going to foot his bill? I will not foot his bill. I will pay for his breakfast. He can eat a lot. Right, maybe I should put his I said, Sai, it's all right. So anyway, that's that's some funny commission stories. Um, most of the time, I, you know, 99% of the time you don't get anything uh, like the ones that were mentioned. They're pretty well uh on the up and up i guess i mean was it was it last summer john that you did that the, that huge commission how many characters were in that commission i have no idea what you're talking about it, it was the secret wars recover recreation yeah but you made it sound like it was a whole new <laughs> is that your biggest commission yeah yeah <laughs> like you were drawing a George Perez universe or 
John Byrne, all the characters in Marvel. That now. Ah. He keeps binging in from the cruise ship. Hit me with my office address. I thought he would know that. <laughs> Let's he's, see. He's gonna throw that in his garment. Yeah, I know, but he should have that, shouldn't he? You would think. You would think so, sir. Um, I'm sorry, people. Uh, you all can uh, blame Jared on this one. He said, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Who did? Nobody. I just said you, you're, you're uh, texting Jared. I should be, I should have on the do not disturb. Mike Cross has got to step out. Good luck with today, boys. Mike, we hope you can make it back at some point. See what's going on with Stallone and John's other art. Yes, we do, Mike. Maybe you can call. Call in. Craig, you're giving out your number uh, today, aren't you? I am going to give out my number. And we'll have a call in section. See if we can uh, see what folks have to say about this. <laughs> but you're only giving it to certain folks. Give it to Papa Stas. Maybe we'll give it to Byron Huggins. I would just say, if you know my number, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> I'll publish. Oh, Mike it. Ross says, oh, I totally call. I know he would. Now, the question is, do you have a plan that doesn't charge you extra for international calls? Oh, I do not. Uh-huh. Uh, cancel that uh, photo idea, guys. <laughs> <coughs> Why, do you have that such, such a plan, sir? I have one that it it it's okay if I get calls from, I think, Puerto Rico, Mexico, and Canada. Now you, they can do the um, they can do the uh, Facebook Messenger though, right? Phone uh, phone. Yeah, actually they can. I do have that app. So that's the way we'll go. Facebook Messenger. They have to be friends of yours though on Facebook, so, I believe. So if they go on Facebook, do a friend request to me, I'll I'll accept. And then they can do the messenger on Facebook and they can be live on the show this afternoon with us. Aren't you already uh, friends with Papa Stas? I should be if he's on Facebook. Well, is he? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for? Uh... Well, it's funny because you did the whole setup. I did. I, what I can do, though, is I can go on Facebook Messenger and I can start shooting out some messages to people about what we're doing and see if they want it. Mike Cross says he'd totally call. Yeah, I know he would. Mike, get on Facebook Messenger, buddy. I think he is. We can make this happen. I'm glad there's a delay, though. <laughs> If you just come on, we've got some new people that are watching. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, give it the thumbs up right below the screen. Also, we're going to be coming back this afternoon at 1 o'clock for Stallone, Black Friday Stallone drawing. John's going to do draw a drawing of uh, Sly's Jack Carter with Keanu Reeves as John Wick. We'll talk about John Wick a little later today. You know what? I went to watch that just the other day. John yes, John Wick one. Yes. It's not on Netflix anymore. They took it off. They took it off. Oh man. Well, it's it's. Ask me if I was frustrated. Frustrated beyond belief. It is so good. Hey, and John, for those of you that came in late, John offered a surprise Black Friday running through Cyber Monday deal, twenty percent off of his normally low price already. For his drawings, you would get a head sketch of your choice for fifty dollars, but no, it would be forty dollars with the with the Black Friday price, and that includes postage. Correct, John? 
Yes, and you get to, well, I'm going to record it being uh, done. So uh, you will have a YouTube, as long as YouTube has it up and, in, in, you know, I mean, I'm just saying YouTube is like any other business. They could decide one day to take stuff down because they have so much content um, already up there. You know, there could come a point sometime in the future, like Ustream, I remember I got an email from them and they said, uh, hey, you know, we've got so much stuff up here. If you want to host your own videos or if you want them, you have to this date uh, before we start removing them. Jeff Young says we should be friends. Send me a request, please. Jeff Young says I'm friends with John on Facebook. Yes, he is. Yes, indeed. Was that a friend request going out? Uh, it was a request for my wife. Oh. <laughs> no, she's just saying, hey. Let's see where Facebook Messenger would be here. You don't have it installed? I've got it installed. And. Just gotta find the app. <laughs> there it is, Messenger. Now you know you you have a funny um, history with smartphones, such as Don R says Jeff Deathstroke is looking great. Thank you, Don. Ron Appreciate says, JB that. and YouTube forever. There you Just go. Now. Bump. Bump, 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 bump. Um, yes, well, sir. I, I, uh, uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> I swear that bell at your school used to get me. That was the funniest thing. So, so I'm an administrator in, in the school system, and once in a while, John and I would talk on the phone during the school day. Uh, this was back when I was at the elementary or not. I'm sorry, at the middle school or the high school because there were bells. We'd be talking. If we were talking and a bell went off in the background, it would just like John would become. It kicked me right out of the conversation because yeah. the, the <laughs> bell would interrupt. It would be so loud. Yeah. And it would just interrupt me and I would be like. It, it's it's like somebody had me under some hypnosis that every time I heard a school bell, I would just. <laughs> totally blank out onto what I was saying. And it was actually quite funny. It was, because it happened more than once. Oh, yeah. No, it's... it's. That death stroke is looking good. Oh, thank you, sir. It's all in the eyes. The eyes have it. Well, he's only got one. I mean, I don't know if he just keeps the other one covered up for fun or... Is he like Popeye? That's what I'm saying. I don't Popeye? know. I don't know. Uh, Don would know. I probably should know. Has anyone ever Actually, I think, Popeye? you know, I think he does wear an eye patch when he's not in the mask. Yeah. Has anyone yeah. asked me to draw Popeye? No, they haven't. Popeye and, and, and do you prefer Brutus or Blue Toe? Uh, you mean for the name? For the name. Hmm. The same guy. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's interesting. Never really thought about it. <laughs> the things we ask on the show. I kind of like Bluto. Well, that's because Belushi. <laughs> right? Did you ever, and I, I wish I knew who the artist was, did you ever see that drawing and it made, they drew Popeye like sort of realistic with Bluto and Olive? Yes. That was classic. And didn't he have like veins in his arms? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it made him look real. Like if they were real people, of course, exaggerated so much. Uh, I used to love the old Popeye cartoons, the old ones, the yep. old, old ones. The Fleischer ones. Yeah. Good stuff. Hey, somebody could ask you to draw Popeye. True. Or Mighty Mouse. <laughs> that sounds like stuff Little John would ask for Patricia. You used to right? draw who? Which dog is it? Doggity Do? Doggity Dig and Diggity Dog or <laughs> somebody out there in the audience help me. Little John. Well, you know, 
He's a busy man. Busy man. Busy, busy. Busy at Disney. They come to Disney a lot, don't they? They do. They do. You know what they say. If you don't take care of the business, the business will take care of you. They do? Well, that was... Yeah, that's one of the things. You know what I say? What do you say? You're a big man, but you're out of shape. For me, it's a 24-hour job. <laughs> that's, a, that's the right movie. That's the right movie. <laughs> Getting you in the right frame of yeah. mind. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when Jared gets here, I'm going to go, what cafe were you thinking of? Oh, you know, the one down the road from you. The cafe. The cafe. The cafe. The cafe. <laughs> the cafe. You know, the cafe, John. Ron says, I hope you can find a way to get Craig louder next time. What about an audio input splitter where you can both run an individual microphone through the same channel? Uh, <laughs> Ron went over my head with that one. <laughs> They're missing out on all the repartee. The repartee? 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 All the talking. Ron, I, there's got to be a way for us to do this because I've seen other people sitting right next to each other with microphones. We were just using headsets that had mics. And I thought, I told Craig, I said, hey, I think I, I think this is going to work because, you know, I'm going to hear you through my headset and we'll get a little bit of bleed over because we're in such close proximity. Proximity. But... Would it, you want me to try to put my headset on now, John? Uh, sure. Why not? Got nothing to lose. Let's see what happens. I think. Well, you know, I have you hid, so. Oh, and you're going to have to turn the volume down. Yeah. On that computer. Where is the volume already down? That's uh, down. Ron says, link for Craig. Link for Craig? Is he asking for a link for my Facebook, or what's he asking for? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got my headset on there, Big J. Yeah. You got me so you can hear me now? Well, I'm sure people... See, that's the problem. I'm sure people can hear you regardless. Can people hear me? You know what I mean? Yeah. They're going to hear you regardless because you're going to be picked up on my uh, camera mic. But what we want is a more pure sounding Craig Zay look. Uh, let me work with the uh, logistics here a bit. <clears throat> okay, you're, it's showing that you're. Uh, Ron not, says that's better, 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 much better. Really? Yeah. yeah. And you did nothing, right? I did nothing. So I just put the headset on and we're good. Wow, well, that's interesting. Um, so everybody, please, if you're uh, yeah. let everybody, uh, I'll be interested to see.
Can you all hear me pretty good now? Hey, you know what, Craig? What's up? Uh, yes. Hold on, hold on one second. All right, I'm holding on. Um. Okay, so I see Ron says that was better, and so does Don. Um, we got five people watching. Some of those may not be actively, you know. Right. Uh, Hmm. Well, that is interesting, though. I am going to uh, run down to the men's room. All right. I'll stay here with everybody. And you know what? Well, I can't turn. I could mute the microphone on this camera. Ron says that sounds better. Really? Yeah. How about you, Don? Does it sound better for Craig? Are you picking him up on my microphone or is it synced? It's probably synced, I would imagine. It's not like the time is going to. I am going to mute my mic. My... He says, yeah, I can hear him well. Okay, Craig, I am muted. Okay. Really? Okay. It says Echo now. Maybe he was closer. Yeah. I'm going to unmute. I'm unmuted. Going to run down to the restroom. I'll be here. And just kind of keep a chat going and see, yeah. uh, see, what, see what, sounds what sounds right. right. See what sounds right. All right, All right guys. guys. John's stepping John out step first. Out. I guess he's going to let that dry a bit, and then he'll come back and finish up. I put out the link to my blog, craigzabler.com. From there, you can go to Facebook, and uh, you'll be able to uh, go on my Facebook page, do a friend request, and then we can use Facebook Messenger to get you on the show later today for a Stallone drawing. How's that uh, sound? How's that coming through, guys? A good uh, echo now. Is it, is it good? Is it good? good? That it's, it's not, not bad? bad? Or, or good? Is it? In, it's really it's messing really up the sound. sound. Horrible now. Okay. okay. Oh, pretty strong. Messing it up. All right, I don't know what John did, but uh, when he comes back, we'll tell him to try to set it back to whatever it was when it was sounding good. So any of you guys planning to take advantage of John's uh, Black Friday deal, here he's going to offer, or he's not going to offer, he's offering up, uh, uh, if you ordered between today and Monday, uh, a normally fifty dollars sketch will be forty dollars. You get to pick the character. It's uh, postage paid anywhere in the world. Plus, he'll be doing a drawing. All right, Ron says he sent me a message via Facebook. Let me see if I can uh, go to Facebook and get that, so I can do some friend requests. Okay. They said that there's no the the feedback is really bad right now. The feedback is really bad. That's what I was. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Ron sent a, a picture to show what the splitter would look. Splitter would look like on Facebook. So I'm going to try to get over to my Facebook page. All right. So should you unplug your headset? All right. I'll. How's this? We're back to the old way. We're back to the old way, Mr. Baby. All right. 
I think I heard an echo on you just then. Uh, that was me moving my chair. Okay. Okie dokie, hokey. Doggity do. Diggity doggity. <laughs> I miss little John. Yep. He's a good man. And he's one that you never know what he's going to commission you. No, he, and he comes up with these he, really, really good ideas. He does. I do know he likes to get his uh, Captain Marvel's, his Shazam Captain Marvel uh, commissions. He might request the Shazam. Shazam. No, he's, he's got a couple for me already. Yeah. At least. One by me and Zach, one by just me. I think he's pretty much uh Shazammed out. <laughs> he could always get a uh Gomer pile from you. That'd be a take on the Shazam. Golly. Mr. Zablo. Mr. Car uh, Sergeant Carter. Sergeant Carter's girlfriend's name was uh hold on. Um in the middle of something. Uh because Powell used to always call her was it Miss Kitty? Miss Bunny. Miss ah, I see you should have let me have another oh, guess. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Miss Kitty was uh Miss I know. Billy. Yeah, I know. No. I knew that as soon as I said it. That's why I was gonna say I said it with kind of a question in my voice. You said it like uh Trebek. <laughs> you didn't give me a second try, Trebek. I'm going to show you the splitter. <laughs> Trebek. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't think we're going to find a splitter. I think it's a it's a matter of logistics too. I think. I mean, I don't have computers close enough by so. We are a low tech operation, so to speak. So to speak. Uh, trying to get by on uh, guerrilla tactics here. Doing the best we can. Doing it the way we've always done it by the seat of our penis. All right, I've, I've gone to Facebook, but I do not see the. Me oh. Let me see it on the messenger. Let's try that. Le messenger. Le messenger. New message request from Lori Anderson. This is Ron. Okay, so I'm going to accept that. And there's the splitter, John. Well, that does me no good because I can't see it. I'm going to show it to you. Oh, okay. And that might do me some good. Right. Yes, sir. Sir. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Man. But, but we have USB um, headphones. Headphones. Up. There's another one that Ron sent. Okay. I I need to make progress on this drawing. Thank you, Ron, for sharing that. Craig is looking into it as we speak. Have you ever drawn Topo Gigio? Yes. You have? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I knew you as I was saying you have. <laughs> It was still funny. <laughs> and and you really yeah. you have? <laughs> well, because we had spoken about him before, so I figured if I said I have, you would, yes, you sir. know, you would maybe think. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at you with your big fat white brush. Yes, sir. Do you use Rapidiographs at all anymore? 
No. They're too messy, too much trouble to clean. Once they get that little blob of ink, yeah. it's pretty much they're over. Done. Pretty much, yeah. Done. <laughs> he said it's done. The, the rapidographs are gone. They're gone. I was a pen man myself when I was an eager. Yeah, you were a rapidograph man. <laughs> I was a rapidograph man. That's why you're asking, right? I was. You wanted to know uh, if you could still get a set. They're out there. Are you sure? I don't know. See? Yeah, you're right. I don't I believe they are, though. Isn't that what Jared uses? Uh, you could be correct. He may have found the set in a garage sale. That's looking good, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It looks like it has some heft to it. Well... Jeff Young says, looks good. Nice work. Thank you, Jeff. Boy, I am getting Black Friday sales from, you know, that's one thing. I don't mind being on somebody's list, you know, like email yeah. list and stuff. Sure. Because every now and again, you get a coupon that you really, you know, it's like, oh, that's good. You know, yeah. great. But man, this time of year, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get pelted from everybody. They want you to know that there's some good well, sales out there. I understand. Uh, Billy Ray says that the rapidographs are still available. Yeah, I know they are. I just said, are you sure they are? I knew they were. Well, I knew you wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't know. That's not my profession. But it was. Not your profession, but. It was your weapon of choice. It was, it was. I think you, uh, did you have me pick you up a set? Like, I think you gave me some. Or did I, I think I gave you some old ones. Yeah. Some old ones that were. If I had stuck with that all those years, I could be maybe a mediocre inker. <laughs> what if you were a great inker? Well, I didn't have the patience for it. Oh, you did when you started. <laughs> Well, it's like anything when you start. Uh, Ron says, I resent two links, one for a USB splitter and one for a USB 10-foot extension so you don't have to sit by each other. <laughs> <laughs> that, might be, that might be more what we're looking for. Because then we would both be off of your uh, computer. Yeah. And we'd be doing the same headphones. I mean, your headphones are mine, but we'd be doing it through the same source but you still need to see well i'd be sitting over here i understand that yeah but you need to see the chat and real time well i, w I still would are you sure yeah i'd just be talking i don't know yeah i need to i need to see somebody's actual physical setup that's how i learn best is when i visual visual you're a visual learner sir and there's Walmart coming in for like the <laughs> third time this morning. You know, that's why I did have one Gmail account that I gave, you know, when you go to a store and they're like, oh, do you have an email address? You know, they always want that. Yeah. And for a while I thought, oh, you can't say no. Even though, I, I mean, you can, but you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, if you say no, they're going to think you're like weird because you don't have an email. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I, I actually did have an email account. And then I started using it for more than email or just e-list. And so now it's like, you know, I'm on some, you know, like the comic art groups and stuff. And it's account, it's really an account I never use anymore. I need to go through 
when I get a chance and clean it up, get unsubscribed from uh, all these lists. And I'm on, you know, some of some list I'm on like two, two of my accounts, my John Beatty art and the other just regular Gmail address. So that's something I think I need to take care of in the coming weeks. Hey, I just got a text from uh, James Byron Huggins. Yeah. He is the uh, world famous author, best selling author of a whole bunch of novels, but he wrote Hunter and he wrote uh, The Reckoning and he wrote Kane. Uh, what does he want? He's just checking in with me. Uh, he may call in. Oh, I thought he wanted me to do a book illustration. <laughs> <laughs> does he have illustrated book covers? Um, yeah, actually he does. What kind? There, no, are they? Well, there, there's been different ones. Are uh, they painted? Are they designed? He's had painted ones. He's had others that are like graphic art. You know, that's not a painting. I'll have to show you. But what's cool is I was, I was always a fan of his work, and he ended up doing a book called Hunter, and Stallone optioned it. Yes, I know. Uh, oh, you're telling the... Uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, Ron says he doesn't know for certain if what he sent would work. And he, and he said he also made an email just for store accounts, so when they send stuff uh, like you know, yep. sales and stuff. Yep. That's the way to go. And I kind of let mine just be my default email for a long time. So I actually have a few people that will still contact me there. Very rare. So it's it's something that um, I just need to go through. Where did you get this phone holder, JD? Uh, Amazon. I am going to have to get one of those. Very nice. See? Yeah, I, I have a second one over here. Yeah, I'm thinking I want one for my school and I want one for my home. It's nice to have your phone set, and you you know you can even charge it on there. You can yeah, I run saw the, the holes in the yeah. back and everything. I like that. You yeah. always have the best stuff. Uh, I think they're only like about five bucks a piece or three dollars or something. Yeah. They're not expensive, and usually I get that when I, you know, if I need something to get the free shipping. Yeah, <laughs> I join Prime. I, you know what? Okay. I got prime last year Yeah. and I didn't really use it that much. And they didn't send me that email. They said they would about before we resubscribe you. Yeah. We're going to send you an email like 30 days before. Yeah. So if you want to opt out, I just, my bank account reflected a prime renewal one day and. You didn't like that. No, at the time it was okay because I had the money in the bank. Yeah. But if I would have had the option, I don't think I would have. Really? Yeah, I don't think I, I would have renewed. I like it because I can order one thing and it'll ship and I'll get it quick. And yeah, I but, have to hit that 25. but you know what? Have you, I, I don't, their movies and stuff are, there's not, it's not enough there. You know what? I, Subscribe to now that I like a lot more. I have Netflix. Yeah, I've got Netflix. I think everyone. I tried Hulu. Did not like Hulu. Yeah. Um, there goes my sponsorship from Hulu. <laughs> um, so I, Netflix is a must. Yeah, I got Netflix. What is that? Ten bucks a month? Yeah. No, I think it's like eleven ninety nine like now. Prime as much as I like Netflix. Really? Yeah. What do you watch on? I can't find uh, anything. I've watched some old TV shows. The music is limited unless you go to then you have to go to Prime Plus or something and pay more. Okay. I'm Pandora for music. Here's the thing that I subscribe to now. And I I did this because it allows me to download YouTube content. Is I went to YouTube Premium for yeah. $9.99 a month. Okay. It allows me to download uh, streams and stuff like that to like my iPad or my phone or whatever. Yeah. So that when I'm on a flight or something, I can watch that content with no connection. So, and it gives me, they have original content that I haven't explored yet. 
Ron says that he loves Prime. I not, he not only uses it, uses the heck out of it, but also uses Prime TV <laughs> and music that comes with it. He also has Sling TV, Netflix, and YouTube, and he canceled his dish. Ron is like, uh, Ron, you need to come here today and hang out. Can, um, can you shake loose? Hey, Jake Byron Huggins said he just called it. They, and he got a hotel, and they said they'd never heard of me. <laughs> <laughs> what if they had? You're kind of glad they didn't, yeah, right? Exactly. Now, is Mr. Huggins, Mr. Higgins, Huggins. Uh, Mr. The Higgins, <laughs> Mrs. The Vega, is is James listening to us now, or just no? He's, he's not. He, so he just tried to call you out of the blue. Um, I had texted him. Let me see if I can call him. But he may not want to be on air. No, he knows we're on. Well, that's what I just asked you. Yeah. Says it's ringing. Okay. Oh. Okay. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I just realized when I said that, I kind of went into Popeye mode. I can't hear you. There. Me. So my buddy and I are uh, doing a live stream broadcast. Zay blow there. The White House. <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny now if they if they would have known him it would have been more embarrassing that's true I said well look for him <laughs> you gotta be there You're doing a radio show <laughs> and uh and she said and she said what are you doing you can't find it Oh, that's too funny. That's it. That's it, man. So, 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 my buddy John's doing a live drawing, and we're working out all the kinks. Uh, and I know that you and Matt have done some live stuff. So. Don't embarrass me like don't embarrass me like that again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, what are you doing up so early? What were you doing? He was at one of those cells trying to get a bargain. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Just like Craig.
Yeah. Yeah. Could have been worse. Well, I just want to call in and say, hey, I'll talk to you a little later, my friend. I thought you was going to interview me. No, no, not this morning. Not this morning. All right, all right. Uh, we're just, I just wanted to know we're working on getting the kinks out so we can do that. That's the ultimate goal. All right. All right, my friend. Take care. All right. So, what do we got going on here, Mr. Beatty? Back to back to normal. Back to normal here. Uh, yes. What do we have going on here? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, Ron said that uh, he'd love to come down, but he can't miss Black Black Friday Stallone edition. You can you can come in and he watch it live, Ron. Right? Studio live with us. And uh, he said, first day off in weeks, so I'm having trouble getting out of bed, getting to the uh, what do they call those coffee machines that start with a K? Karung, Karung, Karung? Keurig. Yeah, the Keurig uh, was excruciating enough. And Ross said, earmuffs, children, earmuffs. I'm sure he's talking about when. Yes. Yeah. When when Higgy came on. With Mr. Byron Huggins. I, I just think of that Carol Burnett, Mrs. Mr. DeVick. Mr. Mrs. De you used to love that guy. Oh, that was funny. He was funny. Is he dead now? He did pass. Tim Conway? Yeah. I know Harvey Corman did. I'm sure that he did, didn't he? I'm not sure that I'm Tim really Conway. Sure that it's did. time to ask Siri. I will tell you one of the, the everybody that's listening, and this is fun. If if you have a smartphone, and I guess you can uh, ask Siri or whoever, just you know when you tap it uh, uh, to get your your uh, AI up. Ask what is the net worth of this famous person, and it will give you what the net worth of of that person is. It's so pretty. Put that in about you. No, it's got to be somebody like extremely, you know, famous? and wealthy. Like you know, they they got to be worth some millions. Like Oprah. Yeah, you could Oprah's like what two point five billion or something. Jeez. You know, I don't know if Don is uh, still uh, here. Yeah. But I am having fun on <laughs> on, <laughs> on this death stroke. I I really am. Uh, you know, you're, you're just... I I I believe this is the and you know I've inked death stroke sketches over my exact. This I believe is the first one I've done uh, by myself. Tim Conway apparently is still alive. I thought he was. I thought it was just Harvey. How old is he now? Tim. Yeah. 84. Wow. See? That his that name is Don Polson. Is Don 84? Yes, sir. Now that's amazing to believe that they were the same age all that time. Yeah. And who would you have thought was older, you know? Don R says it looks great. Really excited about it. Oh, thank you, Don. Yeah, that's he, that this is I like this. What are we gonna do about the sound thing? We're gonna have to figure it out. Because you need to be here to be tortured like myself for the Stallone so, thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like being live. I like being in the studio better. There's, and now that I figured out that you don't need a laptop, I don't know why I was. Yeah. It just clicked last night. I'm like, I'm stupid. I got, you know, why well, can't. we did it at your house and it worked. And, and maybe because we were closer. We were closer. You know? very, very much closer. I'm so close to this microphone. Maybe. Maybe if the lap, if the if my setup was right there. Well, that would have to be your laptop then, yeah. and then you don't have the big two monitors. I like and, the two monitors though. And you can, you know, make them as big as they can go. Yeah, we and, got the splitter though, and we were running off of the same. Our headphones are running off the same. I, 
I, I think that would do it. That might be the way it's done. And then I will try to see. Here's the thing. Do you have I, a microphone above you. Uh, it's on the camera now. Yeah. When so I plug in off, the mic on the camera, then we got no microphone. Can we use when I when I plug in my headset, it cuts uh, this well, mic. That's what we need. We need the splitter. Okay. <laughs> so that I would be off the same thing. Ron says I can make it there before one. Text me after this screen. Did you hear that? Yeah, but I don't want to ruin his day with uh, his lady if he's got plans. Ron, he doesn't want to ruin your day with your lady if you got one. want to remind everybody if you like what he says no plans i thought he was gonna like go shopping with her or something i do not know about that no well he was talking about oh he was just saying he was having time a hard time getting up and right. moving okay Ron says everyone's out shopping oh okay there you are And, 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 and I had a little karaoke last night because I was at a Filipino party and that's what they do. So, you. you know, here's here's the funny thing. I'm I'm not afraid to do karaoke, like. as as you well know, Mr. Zabla. And so we were at a convention right. and Renee dared me to get up in karaoke. She did not know who she was dealing with. Well, you know, she's like, I, I'm like, I'll do it. I got no problem with it. And she goes, oh, I bet you won't. And I said, how much? And she goes, $100. What? Yeah. And I said, are you serious? And she's like, yeah, you won't get up in karaoke. I said, oh, yeah, I will. I said, we, I said you just got to find me the right song. And then so they started to try to find a silly song. I said, no, no. <laughs> I said, you know. I want a legitimate song that we we both can agree upon. Right. And w but then basically the way the story winds down, I'll make it quick because it's it was kind of more funny uh, when you're there. Right. One of those deals. But I think she finally realized that you were gonna do it. I I would do it, and so we really couldn't. We couldn't find a song. They wanted me to do something really goofy and stuff. And I was like, nope, if I'm going to karaoke, I, you know, I said, the only stipulation is, you know, I have to agree upon the song. Right. Like, I can't remember. They wanted me to sing some song that was, you know, something that would not be uh, in my wheelhouse, so to speak, <laughs> or your comfort zone. Not comfort zone. It's like, I guess I want to say like a song that a female only should sing, I guess. Yeah. And looking back on it, I should have just done it. Yeah. I mean, what's the big, but it just, at the time it was like, Hey, I, if I'm going to do this, yeah. you know, Ron says he was just planning to watch this all day. So, uh, well, Hey, there you go. Ron, if you want to hit the road, uh, I can, I can text you my location. You can call me after this. Uh, do whatever you feel, bud. If you want to hang out for the day, this is literally, uh, Craig will tell you, I don't know what time I need to be home. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell mom what time you're coming home? No, she knows, she knows, uh, she knows what's going on. And uh, Jacob is sometime today... Uh, he was going to spend the night at the house of the girl who had the party last night, but she, you know, we thought it was better Bella and I that he have his overnight bag and stuff. Yeah. So he's going to do that tonight. So Bella knows I'm here. Um, 
and she might hang out with her friend. So you're Ron, you're more than welcome to come and uh, if you want to stay the day and uh, you know do some streaming, uh, hang out, feel free, brother. Be more than welcome to uh, have you and see you again and get to meet Craig. Yes, sir, sir. Boom. Did you say boom? That was you. Oh, I, heard, I, heard I am concentrating on how's death stroke looking now. Nah. Yeah, you look good. That looks really good. I am liking this. More than you thought you would. And you, you know you would. You know those death stroke covers Zach did were really good. I didn't realize he did that many of them. Yeah, he did. You know, what, like but, three years worth yeah, or something? Yeah, sit back and think about yeah, it. Yeah, it was a lot. And I just it just occurred to me, Ron has the free uh, drawing today. The Beta Ray Bill. Yeah. So, <laughs> that would be perfect. And, and he's got stuff. Wait for it to come in the mail. No, he's and he's got other stuff here to pick up right beside you. Well, there you go. Ron says the shading is fantastic, and Don R said, talking about Zach, he did quite a few. Yeah, I think it was two and a half or three years of covers, but I'll tell you what, that first one is, he's got a print of that that he sells at conventions now, a remastered print, new coloring and everything on it. Yeah. It's just beautiful, and... uh Mike likes to tell the story, but since he's not here, and I know I'll never get Mike on a live stream, uh, Manu Bennett, I think, is the name of the guy who plays um, Deathstroke on the... Somebody will correct me if I said that wrong, and I think I did. It's Manu something. Is it Bennett or Benet? Anyway, he plays the character Deathstroke on the Green Arrow show. And he came over to Zach's table at one of the shows and um, picked up that print from from Zach and said that that was, you know, out of all the Deathstroke images, that was his favorite one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, Billy Ray says, that's most impressive, talking about your art. Thank you, Billy Ray. Speaking of impressive artwork, Billy Ray has a lot of impressive artwork. Yes, he does. Easy guy to deal with as well. And a great girl artist. Yes, he is. Well, it's not that he's a girl artist. He draws great girls. That's why I said a girl artist. Just to clarify for folks tuning in that may not know Billy Ray, a.k.a. the Raytrix. A.k.a. Black Bill. A.k.a. Uh... Yeah. I, I thought we had another one. Don R said it's an iconic cover talking about the Zach cover. I had him sign my copy the last time he was in town. Um, where was that at, uh, Don? Was I around that show or was I absent from that one? Zach and I usually track uh uh track. <laughs> attend? Attend shows like uh like a team. Like the team we are. And when you throw in Shooter in the mix, you got the whole triad. Well, you got you do have the Secret Wars team. I wish Zach would come back and do one more last hurrah with you. I wish, and if I had my choice, it would be a Captain America. Any special villain? Well, you know, the Red Skull yeah. is always good. Or Hydra. Yeah. Uh, Don R says, uh, it was Phoenix last year. I was too late to get the Zek Beatty combo, though. Okay, yep. We were in Phoenix. I probably know Don and... I don't know if I'd know him to see him, but I probably, I know I 
had to at least meet him. The Zach Beatty combo. Destro. It's funny, I'm watching you do it live. And, and then the delay. And then the delay will spin it, and I'll look over the delay. I know. And it, then I'll look back it, over, and then you're spinning it again. It will mess you up. It's like, yeah. When I do that sometimes here by myself in the morning, I can't watch the delay. That's why I do the pop-out chat, so I can at least yeah. monitor the chat. But, man, if I look at the the live, yeah, I'm like, wait a minute. I, I've inked that. Where is it? And then yeah. it... Don R said we chatted for a few minutes. You guys were pretty busy that weekend. Yeah. Um, but we try to give everyone their time. You know, we we try to be good about that. Ray Dog says, what did you think of them turning Captain America evil? I didn't think a lot of it. <laughs> you know, why mess with a thing like that, right? Okay, my darkest wash is going to be down the middle here, where his uh, darker breastplate area, so. Let's throw this in, and I think we'll be done. Uh, Ron says they only did that for a short run, correct? Didn't they try to write that off as he was going undercover in Hydra? Yeah, because there was such a blowback from the fans when the issue came out where he said, Hail Hydra. Yeah. It, the dealers, uh, the fans, I mean, there was, they they tried to play it off as, oh, no, it was, you know, we had this all planned out. Right. Uh, there were, um, comic book dealers that I know that actually printed t-shirts um, to give to their customers to wear uh, about it. Pretty interesting. It's like when you fall down and you, you jump up and you say I meant to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's funny. You mentioned that, but um, my son, Jacob, I taught him from a young age when he fell you know, I didn't want him to be that kid that yeah. always panics. So I would immediately not jump to him. I would be like, get up, Jacob. And so now, and it was funny because uh, just this past, not Halloween day, but um, when they had a Halloween function down here, downtown, I brought him down here and uh, he was out and about. And he bumped in, he bumped into something and fell and he looked up at me, but there were other people nearby. Yeah. And he looked up and they saw him too. And he goes, I'm okay. <laughs> and that's what he does every time when he fall, unless he's really hurt, yeah. he jumps right up and says, I'm okay. And the lady that was next to me thought it was so cute. She's like, Oh, that little boy just fell and jumped up and said, he's okay. <laughs> I know, and it was great. I loved it. And he's been sleeping with Daddy lately because uh, I got a I got a bed that he loves, and I <laughs> I I got to get that little guy one. Yeah, it's a it's a cooler mattress. Yeah, and well. I just got to get him a better bed. Let's just say that the one he's on right now is our old one. Right. And Bella usually sleeps in there with him. But um, he tends to get a little warm at night. And that mattress is just on the floor because we never got him a, a proper bed. Yeah. Because, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, but Bella wanted it on the floor. 
because yeah. in the Philippines, she's kind of used to like not being high up like we are here. She's yeah. used to sleeping either directly on the floor with about an inch foam mat or literally inches off the bed. Yeah. But um, I think Jacob is beginning to... <laughs> To rebel against that in a sense yeah. not in a bad way but he's just like he he realizes he likes it high so there to speak go. so that's something that once i start getting back to conventions and uh get get a good cash flow coming in. I have a few things that have to be taken care of. And among other things, uh, saving to get Bella to the Philippines, a trip, uh, getting Jacob a mattress and a bed is another thing. And I, you know, I, I think I got to go ahead and get a queen size bed for him. Yeah. Because, you know, I had a twin bed when I was a kid. Right. And I think maybe most of us did. But when you think about it, eventually you got to replace them too. So you're spending money just to spend money a little bit later. I mean, you do buy yourself some years yet, but he's kind of like me in that he rolls around a lot when he sleeps. So got to protect my little man. And sometimes he likes hanging off the side of the bed, <laughs> Do, you know, or, it, or just on the edge. Yeah. I've done that myself, though, before, too. I don't know if anybody else has ever done that. But, you know, you kind of just hang off like a. it's almost like not that I would know when you get too drunk and you. Because I don't drink any right. anymore. Uh, not that I ever drunk a lot, but I I've been known to get drunk. When you put one of your uh, appendages like on the floor or something, yeah. so the room stops spinning. Okay, so I believe this is done. You gotta sign it. Yeah, um, I'll probably sign that in white down around the bottom. That looks nice. Um, the winner. I just want to look it over here. Add a few things. Uh, the black is shiny at different angles. That should be soaking in. Um, although I did kind of, uh, you know, I experimented. I put some, I left some rendering there that I didn't like. So I went ahead and blacked it in, which I think looks a lot better. Um, I believe that's Jared. You think? Who else would it be? How'd he get in? I have no idea. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh it is Jared. Jared is here, people. We're we're still streaming. <laughs> I figured you would be. Good morning, Jordan. Hey, George. How's Hello. Hey, and Johan. Hey, how's all the right? Truth? Well, uh, I just finished up, so. I was just going to sign off. Say something, Jared. Something. <laughs> hey, everybody. People, Jared is here. And uh, it's a sweet looking death stroke, the Terminator there. Uh, that is going to Don. Good call, Don. <clears throat> Ron says J Rod in the house. What up, Ron? All right. So, uh, I'm going to go visit with Jared here for a bit. Ron, do you want me to uh, shoot you a text with an address? You have my phone number. If you want to call, uh, feel free. And I'm going to sign off.
Okay, I'll do that. And uh, thanks everybody for dropping by today. And I uh, hope you had a great holiday. And I will see most of you all later on today. And then again later today. So if you like it, thumbs up. And uh, we will see you later. Take care, everybody. Bye. 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 Yeah, I, I got it. Over Black Slump.